welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new my name is Anitra hey y'all so this morning when I woke up I wasn't in the best headspace so after laying in the bed for a while I decided to get out and listen to some frequency music while I meditated on God's word and talk to him um, so I can get my mind right and start my day out on a positive note This morning I want food food. So I am going to have French toast, okay. Um what you want? What you want? What? What are you showing me? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I throw my hands up. Okay, back to what, what was I trying to say? My, my, my mind be all over the place, and I don't need that. Come here and show me his waves. Are you serious, sir? Anyway, uh, I'm gonna have French toast this morning. I'm gonna have bacon, and I'm gonna have some strawberries as well. Today, I am moving my carbs up, and I'm going to uh, make them at 50 today, so. I'm going to be at 50 net carbs today. Or try. Try my best to get up there, okay? I'm experimenting here. Still high protein. It's a little more carb. A little more. Okay, so let, um, hold on. Let me get the stuff. And I'm using this uh, Sola 3 net carb bread. So this is six net carbs because I'm going to be using two slices, bitty, little bitty old slices, little, little bitty slices, okay? It literally fits in the palm of my hands before my fingers even. So I'm going to use that to have some blueberries and some strawberries. Now, um, usually, usually with French toast, I would use... In my egg mixture, I would use like uh, either heavy whipping cream or some almond milk. But my almond milk is a protein almond milk and I just don't want to waste it for this. So I'm going to be using <laughs> this. Just a little, just a little to, um, you know, cream it up. Because I don't even put a, that much um, almond, almond milk or heavy whipping cream when I do use this in the egg mixture. It's just to give it a little more creamy texture okay so let's get this thing started show you what i'm doing before i go any further so i'm in carb manager app um i am here in the um, app settings so i'm gonna go to macros calculator and not worry about that i'm down here if you're new here my um, macros are set to high protein keto so i'm just gonna adjust these are the regular macros five percent carbs um 35 protein and 60 fat but today because i am um going to be aiming for 50 i'm gonna switch that to 50 which makes that 13 percent it brings a protein to 32 and the fat is still the highest at 55 i hope i hope that it is um clear and you can see though here i've already put the bread in when i go here now it is set to the carbs are at 50 so let's see that bread is already at six but let's cook our meal
clearly only needed to use one egg, so this will get trashed. Okay, so it took me so long to make this because people kept calling me. Kept calling me. Okay. And not for fun. Okay, anyway. So, you saw the that I made the, uh, what is this called? French toast. I knocked it down to one egg because I threw so much of the mixture away. Four pieces of bacon. I warmed this sugar-free syrup up. This is Target brand um and then i have my blueberries and strawberries that's about three strawberries and a handful of um blueberries you saw me make this matcha latte or you saw me pour it in here at least i used a cup of this uh unsweet silk protein milk it's 20 grams of protein and i got this college of matcha i bought this from um where i get it from tj maxx TJ Maxx. And then on top of this, I put this Swerve Confectioner Sugar on it. And let's a taste and see what it's tasting like. I have not made French toast with this bread before. Oh my. Y'all. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here is lunch. Um, I'm just having egg roll in a bowl again. I made it in yesterday's video. So if you missed that, go ahead and watch that but pretty much i measured out this is uh seven ounces i'm gonna count it as five because cabbage is in there and it looks a little more than seven i mean five though uh, yeah i'm gonna leave it at five anyway i'm having um this diet cream soda with it as it's well snack time now this right here is the a la madre low carb corn tortillas for two corn tortillas it is six net carbs i cut up two, three, six six tortillas okay i may or may not eat all of these I, I at first only made four but i'm like oh, i don't look like it's enough so i made two more um i have two servings of this salsa con queso i warmed it up it looks very interesting i know and I put some salsa verde salsa I got in there so I need this to close um I'm just gonna eat this so it's like ch salsa chips and salsa which hey I'm all for it so I am at 79 protein 54 fat 998 calories and I have 20 carbs less you guys okay now breakfast was 12 focused i hope so breakfast was 12 okay lunch zero okay i'm gonna get to keep getting text messages of course i can't i'm just gonna have to um yeah okay <laughs> i'm getting distracted please leave me alone okay um lunch was i don't count the carbs from the vegetables or fruits so lunch i'm only counting you know the meat and that's five grams or five ounces I had so zero carbs nothing for dinner this was the snack I had I did end up eating oh no I didn't let me let me up this I did end up eating all um two for six of those tortillas so that's gonna change that I am so full and now I'm sleepy y'all you see how it says limit okay we low carb we low carbon it we low carbon it okay so what are we at now okay protein 38 um no protein is 81 grams i have 38 left i have 38 fat left i am now at 1058 calories i don't know if this is focused maybe i should get closer huh now i have 14 grams of carbs left okay that's fine that's fine i'm still at 12 here zero there this is at 24 
those tortillas, 6, 12, 18. Yeah, that's a lot of carbs for those. But let me tell you something. When I tell you it was delicious, that salsa is real good, okay? Um, 6 for that, 18 for that, 24. Now, I do want to have some ice cream later. So for two-thirds of cup, this is the serving size. Serving size for the butter pecan. It's not enlightened. It's the um the rebel. Okay, so I wish it was enlightened because that stuff is good. I don't know how this one tastes, but to, for two thirds of a cup, we have one net carb, only three protein, fat at twenty two. Okay, so let me see if I just add this real quick. I still not. I don't have enough. <sighs> Where am I at on the carbs? I still have no clue what I'm going to be eating for the for dinner. I'm at 37 net carbs right now with that included. Um, fat is at 76 with that included. Dang, I didn't realize Rebel had so much fat. Interesting. Um, I'm going to go to Walmart right now. Honey, listen, I want me some wings. <laughs> but I'm going to see what else I can put with it. Or maybe I'll just chop it up as it is what it is because technically i mean yeah those those fruits hold on hold on okay so maybe if i don't get all the carbs in i'm just gonna check it up as it is what it is because technically yeah the fruits and the vegetables do have carbs although i do not count them um on my regular life but i'm trying to do a little experiment here still keeping it high protein but very very varying Doing different variations there, I'll say that. Doing different variations of carbs. So today, um, so what? Today I'm doing, I'm trying to be at 50, okay? Yesterday I was at 20. Tomorrow I'm going to be at zero. And then on the next day I'm going to go back to 20. So I'm trying to, I'm doing a little experiment. I guess it's a carb cycling, but a low carb carb cycling um like i told you guys before i have uh these workout plans and the guy that does the workout plans um all of his plans have carb cycling and his carb cycling are with true real carbs like whole food car whole food carbs like sweet potato jasmine rice maybe i'll pick up some jasmine rice and just have a little like it's not even gonna be a quarter of a cup if i do but his his carb cycling includes that his carb cycle carb cycling is like one day will be zero to like five carbs that's a no carb day um a low carb day is 50 to 100 grams of carbs and then on his high carb day is 100 to 200 grams of carbs i'm not doing that i'm just trying to see if maybe if i do a carb cycling on the lower carb spectrum what will happen so just experimenting just experimenting so what's today today's tuesday tuesday saturday sunday monday all three days i was 20 net those were all low carb days today's a high carb day tomorrow's a no carb day so tomorrow's gonna be zero to five and i'm not gonna i'm not even on those days i'm not even gonna have vegetables or fruit i'm just not because like i said although i do not count them i know they have carbs um i'm just gonna eliminate them all together on those days so i need to go to the store i'm very sleepy i think it's because of those tortilla chips to be totally i'm sleepy i need to get oreo some food i'm gonna go see if they have some wings and uh, yeah but it'll be a quick 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 trip because i'm not going in there to buy food i'm just going in there to actually get things i need to see something if they have something for my um for my lawn so that's what I'm about to go up in here in this Walmart for now that I'm off work. Thank you, Jesus. And um, I'll be right back today. I have on these I got from TJ Maxx. They are just, um, did I get these from TJ Maxx? No, I got these from Ross. These are like some, just some workout leggings I was going to work out, but I did not. So, um, this stomach is still here though. It's still here to play. This shirt I usually wear to the gym. It's literally a hotel for dogs shirt. A hotel for dogs. Yes, it is. Okay. 
And then I have some sandals on. I'm about to go to Walmart. I don't have any of the ones. I usually get them this one for senior dogs, but that says adult dog. I guess I'll have to get him that one because I don't see the other brand that I usually get him. I get him this one, but this one says puppy. Where y'all? See, oh, child. He's telling me to get one of these because I'd be danged if I stand out there and be watering some grass, child. Oh, look at what is this one? This one, what did it do? Okay, I need to get three foot whirling arm. What this one do? How much is this? This one, $8. Three foot whirling arm. And then they have this one. This look kind of cheap though. Or it feel kind of cheap. But see, this one right here is the one he said to get, but that's $17. Which one I should get, y'all? That's actually $18. 4,000 square feet. What's this one? How many square feet this other one? 45 feet. Oh, shit. I'm gonna have to get this. I can't. I need... It only goes to 45 feet? That ain't gonna work. Bye. Guess I have to spend freaking $18. That's annoying. Okay, let me quit complaining and actually just get it. Uh, I mean, I don't have no dang choice. And they got plenty of them now. Okay, spending $18 on something is gonna cost me more money in the end. A new sweat um, band thing from my waist because mine is old and ripping all up. So let me see what I can find. I need this, but who wearing that? I can't go walk up in the gym with that. You're like, what girl, what? <laughs> okay, so this is what I'm talking about. Where's the $5 one? That's my, that's up my speed. There we go, 597. I need it till I can um, have that J sculpt waist trainer not be so tight. Where's the one for your arms? I need that too. I don't, I, uh uh, no, I can't. That look uncomfortable. I'm sorry, that one. Where's the one for your I arms? I should get two of them. No, I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna trust that they're gonna be there when I come back. Okay, I'm back. So, pretty much saw what I got. Only thing I didn't trade was this. Picked up the Caesar salad because it was on sale, honey. So, I was like, oh, let me get that. Got my wings, Oreos food. Got this. I got that thing that's outside right now that I'm about to turn on for the grass. I so just yeah. opened these. And this is, not, this is not what I wanted. I don't... But I'm gonna use it because I bought it. But I wanted the the wing the like the wings sections. Is that what it's called? Not the drumettes. Boo boo boo. Okay, so I'm gonna put some in a bowl so I can thaw them. And once I thaw them, then I will weigh them because they are frozen right now. So I'm trying to see how many ounces I'm gonna get. And how much protein I'm gonna get. So let me thaw these for a minute, you guys. Okay, so while that's while that's thawing, let's talk for a moment. So I am really I'm about to do some research real quick because I want to look at um like a low carb if low carb people count carbs of fruits and vegetables although i do not i i don't understand why we have to i'm just like i don't want to do that i'm not gonna do it although when i was um doing full keto clean keto when i went that route i counted fruits and vegetables and child did not work so now i'm like i'm not counting that but i'm like should i count the fruits at least, side note with the fruit, side note with the fruit. I think I have developed a an allergy to strawberries because after I ate those strawberries this morning, I noticed it yesterday too. Was it yesterday when I had strawberries or the day before? I think it was the day before when I had strawberries. I think it was the day before. Um, I noticed my mouth was like, you know that raw feeling? Like I could still feel it now, like almost, I don't know. Um, almost like when you eat too much pineapple. Yeah, that. So, and then I was like, is there a such thing? And yes, there's a such thing. If I look crazy, it's because I was out there handling that water and that water got 
I put that thing on and <laughs> I was like, oh my God. So, um, yeah, I'm like, do I need to start counting the carbs of the vegetables and putting that in my carb manager app? But I just hate, it's just like seems so silly to me to count something. I, don't know. I just don't want to have to measure it, to be totally honest. I don't want to have to measure fruits and vegetables. It's like, okay, let me measure, put this lettuce on the scale. Like, really? We measuring lettuce, y'all? Are we truly measuring lettuce? You know, like, that just don't seem, it don't just seem right to me in my spirit. So, I'm going to look up some stuff and see. Maybe I'll experiment with actually um, measuring that as well. Um, yeah, so I'm just, I'm just, I'm just looking at different options. I do like the high protein situation. I really do. I do. Because this is the first time when I'm seeing consistent weight loss. But I'm thinking to myself, it could be more. <laughs> like, what if I did edit this and, it, you know, took that, so... Still trying to figure some stuff out, but I'm like, do if you are, I'm not talking about, well, I guess if you're keto too, if you're keto or low carb, do you count your vegetables? Like, do you measure them out and count them? And if you aren't, like if you're doing another form of something, you're tracking your macros, are you counting your fruits and vegetables? Oh, the only fruit I'm eating. Let me be honest. The only fruit I'm eating is strawberries most of the time. Sometimes I'll buy bl blueberries. Yesterday I saw the blueberries and I picked them up. So for the most part, it is strawberries that I'm eating. Every single time I'm eating a fruit. Um, although I do miss a mango. I do miss a mango now. Um, so, and then I'm like, I'm trying to get in my vegetables because, like, at the end of the day, we need them. And, um, I don't want to have to, like, start restricting vegetables. I did a, uh, this was, what was it, like, the beginning of the pandemic, child. I did a full week of counting total carbs. And, let me, it worked. But you talking about restriction? Um... And this is when I was counting everything. Like, you questioned yourself on if you should have a, some asparagus or not. Like, oh, should I have this asparagus or no? Counting total carbs is a whole nother beast. I was looking at this girl's Instagram story today. Side note, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and do so. It is Sincerely Anitra. I'm not that active on there, although I, I am going to start being more active. I posted today. I posted today. <laughs> um... She was saying that she's she's lost like a hundred some odd pounds, but she counts total carbs. And I'm thinking to myself, how, girl? How? How are you counting total carbs? Like that's hard. You can't never eat that. But then I'm thinking, but then she don't be on there eating ice creams and stuff. And I'm like, how you? So what are you eating the rest of the day? Meat? <laughs> I'm trying to understand this thing here. Um, so let me know what y'all do. I'm trying to just figure my way out, girl. This weight loss journey is literally a journey. I want to be, I want the journey to be over. Trust. This is what God has given me, child. And I am trying to respect the temple that he's given me. But listen, this temple is not loving me back. Not loving me back. Like, come on, girl. Let's come on. I'm dragging you along. I'm trying to drag you with me. But you pull. You resisting me. And I understand what the resistance is about, child. Come on. Let's hit it. But anyway, let me go. Because I need to start editing this video. Um. So, yeah. I shall return. Okay. So, here is dinner. Um. I measured these at about six and a half ounces of these drumettes. Put them in the air fryer as usual. Season them up with some garlic powder, salt, pepper. And then when it came out, I put a tablespoon of this in the bowl. And a tablespoon of this in the bowl. I know it sounds weird. Don't knock it till you try it. I'm still working on them peels. Um, and yeah, mix it up. There we go. 
Then I'm going to put this in the freezer, but I want to show you guys now because I'm about to end this vlog. I'm going to have two thirds of a cup. It's actually 89 grams of this um, Rebel Butter Pecan. Here are the macros if you are interested. I'm having, I measured it out in grams. So I'm having 89 grams. And my son had these in the cabinet. And I'm like, I wonder if, let me look at these. These are keto friendly in the app, you guys. I did not know these. I used to eat these on WW. Not this flavor though. It was a, I don't know. It was a, not, the, not the lemon one, but whatever the other one is. So I'm gonna warm this up and then put this ice cream on top. And that is gonna end my night but i'm gonna put this back in the freezer while i'm eating this so let me show you my macros that i'm ending with for the day okay if you're new here i have all my serums and things of that nature on so don't be alarmed don't be alarmed because i know i look real oily right now let me tell you y'all my macros okay i'm ending the day at 114 protein 107 fat I'm ending the day at 1731, 44 net carbs. Side note, let me ask you guys. Now, I used to be in a keto group, and the, the lady there would always say, because I come from a, a mindset of calories matter, like for the for the grand scheme of thing, yeah, cal calories matter, you know. Oh, I need to be under 1,200, I need to be under 13, right? But when I was in this keto group, the lady always said, don't ever look at your calories. Like, don't ever look at your calories. If you need mm, 200 fat, that's just a random number. No one's eating. I don't know if anybody's eating that. If you need 200 fat, that's what you worry about. You worry about getting your fat in. If you need to eat two, three, four avocados for the day, eat them. And I would be like, what, girl, what? But people was losing that weight over there on that keto. And I was like, huh, what's going on? what's going on over here so um do you think calories matter i think calories do matter to a certain extent okay but also activity matters you know like going doing something because you're burning calories although i didn't do nothing today i didn't go to no gym that's why i'm about to go to bed because i'm trying to wake up and be with the 5 a.m crowd at that gym because i do not want to be there with that other crowd there'd be too many people there so, um, if you're new here and you made it this far, hey, thank you for watching. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe, comment below. Let me know that you're new. If you're returning, hey, y'all, how y'all doing? How is your week going so far? With that being said, you guys, go ahead and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.